So today we're going to look at the Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis Fitness Test, or the BIA for short, in which the main purpose is to assess a performer's body composition, or the ratio of fat to fat-free mass, such as muscle, bones, or organs. Each type of living tissue has a slightly different makeup, so muscle and fat and organs and bone, it's all made up slightly differently, and that means that if we were to pass an electrical current through it, a slightly different level of resistance would be felt according to which type of living tissue that the electrical current was passed through. In other words, if we pass two electrical currents of the same size, one through a block of fat and one through a block of muscle, the one passing through the fat would experience far more resistance than the current being passed through the block of muscle. Now, the word that we give to the resistance being experienced by that electrical current is impedance. So if we think back to the very title of this fitness test, bioelectrical impedance analysis, we're analysing how much impedance or resistance is being experienced by an electrical current that's being passed around the body. By recording and measuring that data and then inputting it into a computer which has been programmed to run a series of calculations on that, we can arrive at someone's body composition. The percentage of fat mass, the percentage of muscle mass, the percentage of bone mass. The way we do this is that we attach probes to a performer's body normally on their hands or their feet. A very low and weak electrical current, which can't be felt by the performer, is then passed between the two probes, and how long it takes and the amount of resistance that ex that's experienced is measured by the computer and then calculated as the body composition of that person. Once we dial in the performer's height, their weight, their age and their gender, we then have an accurate breakdown of how much of their body mass is fat, how much of it is muscle, and how much of it is bone. With BIA fitness testing, there's a number of benefits. There are also some drawbacks. We're going to look at the benefits first. The first benefit is that it's very accurate in determining someone's body composition. It can differentiate between fat, muscle, bone, organ, and it can arrive at an answer or a result that tells the person what percentage of each of those living tissue categories they're made up of. A second benefit is that, although it sounds a very complex process, it's extremely quick. If a person has a BIA machine, then they can effectively complete this whole fitness test within 30 seconds. And the third benefit of the BIA fitness test is that it is non-evasive. All it requires a person to do is to have probes attached to their hands or to their feet, and for them to wait 30 seconds, and they have their answer. Now for some potential drawbacks. And the first one is it requires specialist equipment. And whenever a fitness test requires specialist equipment, it's likely to incur cost. The more accurate the result the performer wants, the more money they'll have to spend on a BIA machine because with money or a higher price tag comes more powerful and accurate computing systems inside the machine. And a second potential drawback is that food and water consumption has been known to interfere with the results. So if a performer completes repeat BIA tests, if their diet has changed, then it's likely the results going to change, not their body composition. So to summarize BIA fitness testing or bioelectrical impedance analysis, we're assessing a performer's body composition. In other words, we're finding out what percentage of someone's body mass is made up of fat and fat-free mass, such as bone, muscles, and organs. The test itself is conducted by attaching probes to the person on their hands or feet. An electrical current is then passed between the probes, and the amount of resistance or impedance that's experienced can be used to calculate the body composition of the person. By adding into the calculations the performer's age, gender, and height, we can accurately determine what their fat percentage, muscle percentage, and bone tissue mass is. It is a good method for testing someone's body composition because it is accurate, it is very quick, and it uses non-evasive methods. However, with increasing accuracy comes increasing costs and the requirement to have specialist knowledge of operating the machine. Should a performer's diet fluctuate between repeat tests, this could also interfere with results because they've got different food and water content in their body during the test. So that's BIA fitness testing. I hope you found that mini lesson useful. If you did, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can be kept up to date with all the video and content that we're going to be bringing you. Alternatively, if you want to learn more about private tuition or teaching and learning resources that we write, then visit us at thepetutor.com and you can reach out to one of our team. I hope to hear from or see you soon.